Welcome back, y'all. Hey, it's another late night video, y'all. It's midnight right now, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. My cousin just woke me up, you know what I'm saying? He work an overnight job. He called me. He said that his manager just sent him home. Him and his manager got to beefing, right? And his manager was like, hey, brother, pack your shit, get the fuck, you feel me? So that just happened with him real quick. So he called me, he told me that. I looked at the time, I'm like, bro, it's midnight, bro. It's video time, bro. You trying to roll with me real quick, bro? We going to grab some food real quick. You trying to do that? He said, yeah. I couldn't find my car keys. I grabbed my wife's car keys, and I got the fuck up out of there, bro. I'm about to hop up in her whip real quick, and I'm about to leave, bro. I had to sneak up out the house again, bro. I got to do this, fool. You know what I'm saying? Last video, the dude told me to try Crystal City Kebabs, bro. We're trying to get to Crystal City Kebab Palace. He said it's open 24 hours. We gonna head out there real quick. I'm about to scoop my cousin and we gonna see what's up with it. And I'm taking wifey whip. You feel me? We gonna take her whip today. So I'm at the location, y'all. But ain't nobody here. Yo. Yo. Dad, where you at? Well, nigga, I sent you my location. Nigga, I'm here. I'm at the location. No, you're not. I don't see your car, man. Fool, it's a black jump. I'm in Shayla jump. Oh, is that you right there? Look. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'm out to pull up. What it do? What it do, Slow. He tried. Alright, bro, look, my man cold out this zone. He ain't bring a jacket. But look, we out here right now. We in Arlington, y'all. You see right here, bro, 24 hour zone. Kebab Palace open 24 hours. We gonna see what's up with it. All the dudes at the last place, y'all, they said that this was the real deal spot. They said that this is where all the authentic food at. We gonna see what's up with it. Oh yeah, folks in here off the late night and all that. Hey, you ever had Afghan food before? Nah, nah, no worries. Hey. Oh, nah, I don't know. Hey, you ever had Afghan food before? Never, bro. Hey, me neither. We gonna see what's up with it. Oh yeah, y'all, they got a little bit of everything bar style in this junk. Off the late night. It don't even feel like 1 a.m. You see it, it's job. You know I'm saying it's job packed in this junk. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. So this one, this one is the chicken biryani rice, okay? All right, y'all, so what we got was, we went ahead and got some curry chicken. We also got a lamb kebab. Some of the chickpeas, and we gonna see what's up with it real quick. You ever had that before, bro? No, bro. He ain't never no. had none of that. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Thank you. All right, y'all. So here go a quick little look at the food. You know what I'm saying? He already digging into this junk. I got right here a lamb kebab, y'all. We got some chicken curry. We got some rice, some chickpeas on this side, and a little bit of chicken gravy on top of that rice right there. So first things first, y'all. We gonna start with the pita bread. The pita bread is extremely hard, y'all. Like, you would think that the pita would be kind of soft, you know what I'm saying? It's like they, they toasted this junk, bro. But they didn't, bro. This pita's been sitting here all day. I mean, I can't be mad, y'all. It's 24 hours, so... This could have been sitting here for 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> pita don't got no flavor to it. Extremely bland. If y'all have ever tasted cornstarch, that's what the pita tastes like. Pita tastes like nothing but cornstarch, y'all. But let's jump into the food. We got some lamb kebabs, some chickpeas, and some chicken curry right here. The lamb kebabs, y'all, are looking grilled to perfection. You see how it's looking. Let's see what's up with it. Bye. I ain't gonna lie. The lamb is tender. The lamb is juicy. And the lamb do what it do. I ain't gonna lie, la la la, huh, hmm, hmm. I gotta let them, hey, hey, bro. I gotta let them know. Hey, that lamb? That's some juicy ass lamb, man. I ain't gonna lie, let them, hey. 
Hey, give me some dab. You cook that? You cook that shit, Slim? Bruh, that lamb definitely do what it do. I'm messing with that. Lamb go crazy. I think this spot in the hood is something. They got bulletproof glasses and all that shit in this junk. This shit nasty on the code, boy. This shit, ugh. Don't come here. Y'all don't pay him no mind, bro. You can't trust his palate. You can't trust his palate. This shit nasty, bro. Look, the, the lamb was all right, y'all. We gonna see what's up with the chickpeas real quick. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. The chickpeas kind of spicy a little bit. And it kind of hit on the rice. He said it's disgusting, but look. You gotta take into consideration. Look at his rice. He ain't put no chickpeas on his rice. He eating some dry ass rice. Bro, what does he expect? His shit dry, bro. My shit nice and lubricated. Mm. I'm spitting my shit lubricated, bro. My shit, yeah, my shit job like do what it do. Ain't gonna lie to you. It's not better than the district chicken, but it do what it do. But let's jump into the curry chicken real quick. So here go a look at the curry chicken, y'all. We got the rice right here. They ran out of the yellow rice, so we had to get the white rice. But look at it right here, bro. Straight curry chicken. Kind of oily, but fuck it. We gonna dig in. Always be careful when there's a whole lot of oil right there because that's how you get cardiac arrest. If I pass out in this motherfucker and you see me laid out on this floor, just know, I'm suing, bro. Before I jump into the curry, let me cleanse my palate. What I'm gonna use to cleanse my palate is 100% pure orange juice, you feel me? So that we could let the taste buds refresh them. Push it around. Palate cleansed. Now let's jump into the food. So how we gonna do this is y'all, we gonna take a little bit of this curry, boom. Rub that chicken up in that. Ew. They got bugs all in this motherfucker, bro. A whole lot of gristle in the chicken, y'all. So in all honesty, y'all, the chicken's not super flavorful. But it's not the worst curry chicken I've ever had. Keaton was slicing it. You know what I'm saying? I would eat it again. Like, it's open late. So if it's 3 a.m. and there's nothing open, I would definitely come here and get this. But... Those dudes at the DTG, they definitely sliced this place, y'all. They made it sound like this was one of the best spots around town, and I gotta try it. Bread hard as hell, bro. Fuck this. Hard ass fucking non, bro. Come on, man. Chicken curry gonna get like a seven. The rice is gonna get like a four. Bro, it sound like they. It sound like they watching some videos over there. Hey, y'all. Y'all watching some Peach 100? <laughs> Bro, we literally hear the cooks in the back <laughs> watching my video, bro. Hey, what did you hear, bro? Bro, I heard you purping on somebody else's food, calling it nasty. So look, y'all. That wasn't the best curry I ever had, y'all. But, like I said, it wasn't the worst. I mean, it's definitely edible. I would eat it if I didn't have any options, like if it was off the late night like it is right now. But I wouldn't just be like, oh, y'all, let's go check out the, whatever it is the place called, the Kebab Palace, bro. Honestly, bro, at nighttime, like right now, bro, nighttime, it gets like an 8 out of 10 just because nothing else is open. In the daytime, when I got some options, this shit get like a, a 4 or 5, bro. <laughs> Definitely win and go. You want some food? No. You sure? I got some Kebab Palace. No. <laughs> bro. Even the homeless people are turning it down, bro. That's how you know this shit ain't righteous, bro. 